Hello Sparkle Squad and welcome back to my channel. I am Jessica and today I wanted to color do a color and chat out of Mythographic Animals by Joseph Cadenbang. I got this book yesterday. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I ordered this one and I also ordered this one. So these came yesterday, Mythographic Imagine. I already have Aquatic. Um, but I really love, love this one. I flipped through it several times and I found a page that I wanted to do. I also wanted to show you, I got these fine liners yesterday too, so I'm going to be using some of these in here. These are like a generic, there's no brand on them, but you get a hundred different colors. They are 0 0.4 millimeters and look at all of them colors they come in this little case these were only $19.99 on amazon i'll have a link in the description for these these are awesome i really 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 like these i tested them all out none of them were dry they were all nice the colors are great love them so i'm gonna pull my sleeves down because it's a little it's a little chilly in here so yes, these are a great budget fine liner. Um, I was just look. I've been wanting a whole bunch of colors for fine liners, so I got those. And like I said, there'll be a link in the description. So I'm just gonna set these off to this side. Um, if you are new here, welcome. Thank you for being here. I have three lovely doggies, Mocha, Mason, and Snicky. So you may hear them bark. You may hear Mocha talking to me. Uh, they just had a whole bunch of snacks, so they'll probably be quiet and take a nap, hopefully. <laughs> if not, oh well, you'll hear them. That is the way it is with dogs and when you're fur mama. So, I thought I would color this page here. Oh, I also want to show you this beautiful bookmark that Miss Elise, Alyssa Netterhand sent to me. She made this. I really love it. I love cupcakes and cupcake-themed things, if you didn't know, as you can see <laughs> as my background here. So I just want to thank you, Alyssa, for this beautiful bookmark with the washi, and it's the stickers, and it's just really beautiful. So I'm going to use this a lot. So thank you, Miss Alyssa, for sending that to me. But I want to do this frog page. I, this page just really stuck out to me. I really love the animal book. Um... There are just beautiful images in here, and they're very reminiscent to me of Kirby Rosanis's books, but yet still very different. So I'm just going to kind of not, there's other flips on here. If you want a full flip through from me, let me know, and I'll just do a proper flip through. So look at this otter. But uh, yes, I just, I really adore the animals, but, but this frog is calling to me. So what I thought we would use is the fine liners. I'm also going to be using my Cali Art markers. I have the 80 set. Some people have square or um, rectangle Cali Arts. Mine are round, which I like. I don't know why, but they are. Um, let me think, what else? I might do some pencil over afterwards. We'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna use a variety of things when I decide to use them. So I'm going to zoom in just a smidgen, get us in a little bit close to our, our froggy. Now these pages are single sided and they are on really nice thick paper and they are perforated. So you can pop them out if you wish, color them, share them, give them to somebody, whatever you wish to do, frame them maybe. There's something on my desk. Okay. But I don't like to pull my pages out of the books. Um, it's just something that it kind of makes me eh, like that. So, yeah. So today is Saturday. It is a Saturday morning. It's a little chilly, but it is love. Well, it's kind of cloudy. Not super cold or anything, though. So there's that. Um, my husband had to work today. So I decided I would make a video because I haven't made my video yet. So I decided we would do that. So here are my nails. Ignore my fingers because my skin is really rough right now around my cuticles. But I got these at Target. These are the Impress brand. They're just press on nails. Love them. I love the little pokey dotty ones and the little chrome ones. Anyway, I found these at Target when I was out shopping. So those are my nails of the day. 
My mermaid nails didn't last very long because I stuck my hand down in pine saw and cleaning agents and it ate them up <laughs> um, because I had to scrub some stuff. We got a new TV and entertainment center uh, this week. So, but anyway, I found these Wednesday and I love them. They're so pretty. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to sit down. I have my drink in my pineapple cup. Isn't that cute? I found this at Hobby Lobby. It was like 40% off of the spring stuff. And you know I am addicted or obsessed with uh, different mugs and cups. So I had to have this one. And it's in bright pink. I love it. So I'm going to sip of my cream soda. Yum. And we'll get started. So how are all of you doing? I hope you're doing very well. I'm doing pretty good. I've had the sniffles. I think it's just some like crazy allergies lately. I want this frog to be kind of a brightish green. So yeah, I've kind of had some crazy allergy stuff going on lately. I don't know what that's all about. Let's see what bud green looks like. Oh, and I have my page protector here that goes behind this is just a plastic chopping mat I buy them at the Dollar Tree they come two in a pack and I cut them down to fit my books so I have a little stack of them for different sized books they work really well and if the marker goes through on them you just take some rubbing alcohol and a cloth and you just wipe it off and the marker comes right off and they're new and ready to go again so uh, this color's bud green. I'm not doing a color along, but I just wanted to see if that's that's about the bright green that I want for my little froggy, my little froggy goggy. Um, and I think because I have said that I wanted to show you guys how I do pastel pencil background, I might do that on this. Usually if I'm using markers, I will just do a marker background, but I may show you a pastel pencil background for this. So... Anyway, let's go ahead and start coloring our little frog. So I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Are you guys doing anything fun? Uh, we're not. Um, my husband might have to work a good 10 hours today. So if he does, he won't be home till late. And we've got to go get groceries whenever he gets home. My car is loaded down right now with some garbage I have to haul off. So I don't have any room to go pick up groceries. So... And he has to take me out or tell me where to go to haul the garbage because I have no idea where it's at. It's out in the sticks somewhere. So he's going to have to tell me or else I'm going to get lost. I have a general idea of where it is, but I'm not 100% sure. So I like to use the bullet nib on my um, alcohol markers. Sometimes I do use the chisel tip if it's a very, really massive area, especially if I'm doing like um, this guy. But mostly I use my bullet nibby. So I'm just going to lightly go around what I think are like little, maybe lily pad buds perhaps. I'm not sure. There's a lot of stuff that goes on on these pages, but... And it kind of gives you some shading, like here and there, you know. So you can kind of follow that. And like if I go back with pencil, I'll just take a darker green and shade in where the uh, darker spots are. So let's see here. But I'm going to, starting out, I'm just going to give him one good solid coat. We might, I doubt, yeah, I highly doubt that we'll finish this page today, but um, maybe I'll do another video on it. Maybe I won't. Well, I will to show you how I do the background with pastel pencils. If I use them on this, like I said, I'm not sure yet, but you'll know, you'll know. I never know what I'm going to do until the end. I never do my background until the end. Some people do them first. I do them last because I want to see um, like what colors come together first and then I'll decide what background I want to do to do, a, you know, if I want to make it contrasting, make the picture pop. So a lot of the time I'll do a black background, but if I use pastel pencils, I use like purples and blues and different colors. 
So it all depends the colors that I use in the picture and then I do the background. So if you guys do backgrounds, what do you do? Do you do the backgrounds first? Do you do them last? Do you do a background at all? Some pictures I do, some I don't. I don't do backgrounds all the time. Because a lot of the time, some of them, especially like these busy pages, really, you could just color the main image and that's it, right? Like you don't have to do a background because there's a lot going on. But you can if you want. So how many of you have this book? If you have it, have you colored in it yet? Do you have any of his books? I started a page in Aquatic a while back. It's still a whip. I started it with Sharpie. I haven't finished it. Um, I do that a lot. Like It's like I... Uh, I'll start a page and then I'm just kind of guessing in here what what's part of the frog and what's part of these leaves here so you know if I get it wrong oh well no one's gonna tell me otherwise <laughs> I kind of lose interest in some pages and then I will set them aside for a while sometimes I come back to them it may be a year later and I'll come back to it and decide to finish it or there's some that's been sitting up there for years. <laughs> who knows? I'm going to switch to the chisel for in here. So, who knows, right? You might see me going some, over some areas I've already colored, and that's just to ensure that my... Uh, I don't have too, too splotchy, but if it is a little splotchy, that's okay. It's okay. I just don't want it to be like, boom, in your face, splotchy. So I had a pretty decent week. Um, Wednesday, I went and picked up my Aunt Rhonda and we went into Yukon, which is a, is a lot bigger city than either one of us are in. And we went shopping, spent the day, we went to Hobby Lobby and to, um, where'd we go? Hobby Lobby, Target, Tuesday morning, I had to think. I think those are the only three stores we really went in. We spent a lot of time in Hobby Lobby, as one does, because Hobby Lobby is a good sized store, and we just kind of looked at a little bit of everything. I bought, did I buy anything? Oh yeah, I bought some necklace charms at Hobby Lobby, because I love in their like bead section, where you can make your own necklaces, I love the charms, and I just put them on my own chains, so I got a few different ones. I have one on right now, I would show you, but my face is yuck and I haven't done my hair and I'm still in my pajamas Saturday morning. I'm gonna get a sip of my drink. <clears throat> Yum. It feels good in my throat too because I've been having a little bit of sore throat and I think it's all just uh, some allergies going on. But anyway, so uh, the necklace charm that I got on is a little gold rose that hangs upside down with the stem and then it's got the rose on the end and it's got little diamonds on it it's so cute and I've been wanting a necklace like that for a while so I found the charm at Hobby Lobby and all of their things were like not all of them but that brand that I think was fairy tale brand is that brand back there um was 40 to 50 percent off of that brand's necklaces so Obviously, I got a few. I got that. I got a castle that is really adorable. My Aunt Rhonda is going to bead that for me. Uh, she makes beautiful beaded necklaces and sells them. I have some here that I'll have to show you guys sometime. I will sell them um, for her online. Just however, uh, if you guys like beaded necklaces, let me know. And I might do a whole video or maybe a live showing her beaded necklaces that she's got for sale. I got quite a few that she's made for me. And by quite a few, I mean quite a few <laughs> that she's made for me. But I got a castle that she's going to bead. I have a, um, I found a fairy sitting in a moon that's really, a pr really, really pretty. She's going to bead that one for me. Um, 
a, let's see, a shiny rock thing. Not a rock, but it's like a crystal rock sort of thing. I don't know how to explain it, but she's going to bead me at least three or four. So that's what we did Wednesday. It was really fun. Um, and then like last weekend, my husband and I went to Oklahoma City and he took me out to eat for Valentine's Day last Saturday. He was actually off work. So we went to eat at Cattleman's Steakhouse in Oklahoma City. And oh my gosh, that was the best steak I've ever had in my entire life. It was so, so good. And I had sauteed mushrooms, which were to die for, and um, a baked potato and a salad. So that was all just super, super delicious. Um, and then we had, we shared a piece of chocolate mousse cheesecake. So that was also very good. So that was a lovely Valentine's Day dinner. Even though it was a day late, that was okay. Um, and then we went shopping and I got my pineapple cup, which you just saw at uh, Hobby Lobby. I think that's all I got there. And I didn't really buy a whole lot for myself. I got uh, some stickles at Tuesday morning. In fact, I'll show you the pack. I got these at Tuesday morning. You get silver, platinum, and goldenrod. And they were $3.49. It says retail closeout. So I picked up a pack because I didn't have these colors. And I do love my stickles. So Tuesday morning is good to get art stuff. If you've never looked in there, they do have some good art stuff. I got that. Uh, did I get anything else in there? Ooh, I got this amazing popcorn. It's called Candy Pop and it's like Butterfinger and it's, oh God, it was so good. So when I went back to Tuesday morning, um, Wednesday, I bought another bag of that. I uh, bought two bags, one for my husband and one for me, because we can't find it here, but they did have it at Tuesday morning, so that was some good stuff. Oh, I got this lovely bracelet at Tuesday morning, too. It's 14 karat gold plated, and it's got little diamond accents in it, and I love it. You know, I love my jewelry. If you knew here, I love jewelry, and I'm very picky when it comes to bracelets. Like there's uh, certain bracelets I like. I do have a charm bracelet that I've started. So I want special charms for that. Not just any. I like special ones. And ones that come from people. So they have meaning. But um, I like dainty bracelets. I don't like big, thick, chunky bracelets. I like just dainty ones. So I'm going to get another drink. Because my throat's been irritating me. I do have a charm laying here that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I picked this one up when I was out with my husband. Isn't it? Oop. Isn't it pretty? It's got a starfish inside and glitter and it is so pretty. I had to have that. Had to have that. So I figured, well, I can just switch those out on my necklace chains that I already have. So once again, I'm just kind of pretending I know where the frog skin is poking out in here. The rest is like leaves and flowers and stuff. I've been really wanting to color just like a springy bright pictures because I am tired of the dead stuff. I'm tired of winter. I am ready for some bright, beautiful spring colors in my life. So I was like, well, I can't make it happen outside, so I might as well color it, at least. So, um, aside from this picture that I started, I started a picture yesterday out of Flora by Maria Troll. So I'm coloring that. I'm doing it with Polychromos. And it's got flowers and I think a watering, is it a watering can? A jug no it's a little house it's a little like fairy house anyway it's it's very gonna be very springy because I'm uh, plan on doing it in bright colors so again just kind of picking and choosing where these colors go or where the frog skin is at in between these 
clumps of leaves. And I think I will go in with pencil and kind of shade him when I'm done. I'll probably use Prismacolors to do that because they work best going over the top of marker and such things like that. Or I have found that's the best pencil to go over stuff with. You can use what you got though. Use whatever you have, if that's what you wanna do. Or you can just color it and leave it. That's totally fine too. So I'm leaving in between his toesies because I'm probably gonna do them a different color, a different shade of green. Okay, and then I think that's all of his body, except for this foot over here. Sometimes when I'm looking at these pages, it's hard for me to make out what exactly it is I'm looking at. Oh, I forgot last weekend. Yeah, I was talking about last week. Boy, do I get sidetracked. Anyway, last weekend, also while we were out, I picked up some of my favorite sheet masks at By Below. They have the best sheet masks, and they always got different kinds that come in. So I've got some sheet masks. I love, love, love my sheet masks. Love them. And let's see. What else did I get there? I got a new phone case, which I can show you because I have to take it off to film. But my husband picked out this phone case for me, which I adore. So pretty. What else did I get there? At Burlington's, I got some of these wireless headphones for my phone. They're not, um, what are they called? Um, AirPods, because those are expensive. And I was like, I don't have to have the most expensive. I just want some that are completely wireless. So I got them at Burlington, and they were only like $15. So that wasn't bad. Because AirPods are, how much are they? Like almost $200 or something? I was like, no, I ain't paying that <laughs> for some head earbuds. Not going to happen. But I thought the thing that I liked about these is the case is all swirly and the earbuds themselves are also like this. So that's what I liked about it. Let's see, what else did I pick up? I can't remember everything. We got some new pillows. I'm so excited about that. I'm old now because I'm excited about pillows and furniture, but whatever. There we go. I think our froggy's all colored now. He looks like it. If I had one complaint about alcohol markers, is that I wish that they would make it where the caps, where you could put the cap on the end. <laughs> because sometimes I lose these caps and I'm looking all over where to go, what I do with it. So I'm just gonna set that color aside in case I need it again. So I'm gonna go in and do the inside of the froggy toes. And I think I'll go with, I don't know what this color is. What is that? Petite's Poes? I don't know. Some... No, that's too dark. That's too dark. That was too dark. Pale green, maybe? Eh, too light. Do I not have just a mid green? Grass green? Grass green will work. Just gonna do his little webbies just a smidgen darker. We're in our hot mess phase. You know how we have a hot mess phase here. It'll start looking better once we get other colors put in and some shading with some pencil. This is just our base layer. So what are you guys working on right now? I said I'm doing a page out of Flora and I'm also doing my diamond painting 
that Miss Laura from Anxiety Art Adventure sent me. It's my first square drill diamond painting. And you know what? I really like the squares. I was really nervous at first, but I don't know why. I really enjoy doing the squares. It's been fun so far. I've got almost the top section done. I've just been doing a little bit here and there. But Okay. So those colors kind of look similar, but different. I'm gonna go back on this toe. I see some color difference really bad right there, so that'll fix that. All right, let's give our frog, our little frog guy, a yellowy eye. I want kind of a, no, oh, I don't know, a, no, that's green. I don't want it bright yellow. And what's the yellow color I grab? A lightning yellow, but maybe that color. Pastel yellow? Ooh, pastel yellow. Okay, I want pastel yellow for his eyeball. There we go. I really like the Cali Art Markers. Okay, now, what color a top hat should we give him? Do you want him to have a black one? Um, if we do, I'm gonna go with cool. Let's see. Where's my darkest gray in here? Let's go with cool gray five. I think that's the darkest gray. Yeah, it's not as dark as I'd wish, but that's okay. So I'll shade it with black so it'll give the illusion that his hat is black without coloring it straight black. So there's a tip <laughs> for you. So yeah, anyway, uh, last weekend had a good weekend. We went shopping, did all that. We had to buy a new TV. We bought that Sunday. We ended up getting a Samsung, um, curved TV, which is beautiful. It is the most beautiful TV I believe I've ever seen. It is a 65 inch curved UHD HDR 4K TV. It's a mouthful, but it is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. It's such a pretty TV. And we ended up ordering a new um, TV stand entertainment center or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's white and it's got a fireplace in the middle and it's got lights that light up. It's really, really pretty. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture of it. So it's on there so you can see it if you want to. My Instagram is jlove347 all together. It's also down in the description. I've got it down there. But uh, yeah, I posted a picture of it on there. It's just, it's beautiful. And I've never seen any movies look the way they do is on this one. It is crazy town. Absolutely crazy town. Everything looks like I've seen some of these movies a million times, but the way this TV does it, it makes the movie look completely different. It's just crazy to me, but it is a very beautiful TV. I'm just going to take this yellow ochre. I'm going to color this little sign down here. Cause that looks more like a light brown. Hopefully you can see what I am doing. So we did that Sunday and we just set the TV in the living room in the box because we hadn't got our entertainment center yet. It come Monday. I ordered it on Amazon and it come Monday and it was heavy. That was a heavy, heavy, heavy thing. I couldn't bring it in the house. And I even knew that when once my husband got home that there was absolutely no way we could lift it in the house. It was like 150 pounds. So what I did, <laughs> me being the smarty pants and all, is I went outside with my box cutter, opened up the box, and carried the entertainment center in piece by piece. So I set all the pieces around in the house, made sure I had everything, and I started putting pieces together. It was real easy to put together. So I started putting pieces together. There's a coat hanger back here. I think I'm gonna do like a wood coat hanger. Um, so I started putting the pieces together 
and then when my husband came home we I took a break and we uh, ate dinner and then started putting the rest of it together so we got it all together the TV all set up and I've just been enjoying watching TV in the living room again I like to watch TV in bed but only every once in a while and I was getting real tired of going in there so yeah Alrighty, now I'm going to take my Pentel Sparkle Pop in, as soon as I find the color, in silver. In silver, where are you? Purple. Sorry if I'm shaking you. Blue. There's my silver. And I'm going to do the coat hanger top in that. So, boing. So sparkly. And this bottom part. So like that. I don't know if you can see how sparkly that is. I really wish this hat was darker. The only neck, I got a warm gray, warm gray, green gray, maybe warm gray. We'll go over it. Let's go over that with a warm gray five. Yeah, there we go. That color was just a little too light. So I'm just gonna go over it, make it a little bit darker. Yeah, that's better. If your color's too light, just remember, you can always put a darker color over the top. No biggie. There we go, that's better. All right, that's a lot better. Okay, so now what do we wanna do? <laughs> there's still a lot of things on this page and there's different, there's a little diamond and a little koi fish, a little gnome, a little globe. There's a key right here. Um, there's a sock for some reason. I don't know what that is, but I know it's odd. Um, I think that's a towel, there's a teacup. A cane. He's got a little magic wand over here. So there's like little different doodaddies in here. Let's see. Now we can work on these and I want these to be a much different green. So that one's dark-ish. We'll use this color. This is G825 or put I don't know, Pettis Poes? I don't know how to say that color. But that's what I'm going to do, these little lily pads. It's just kind of a, a darker green. Okay. Oh, man, so thirsty. So I'm excited to get Kirby Rosanis' new book next month. I did put it on pre-order, The World Within Worlds. I know some people's already got it. And I have not watched a single flip or anything at all because I don't want to know until I get the book. I already know I'll like it because I like his artwork. So that is something I'm not worried about. Maybe I should have done the frog this dark color in these that light, cause that's okay. We'll make the frog the focus here. So the bright color will stand out against this. I have a thing when I use markers, I always outline stuff first. I don't know why, it's just like my, it's just instinct to do so. I don't know why, it's just a thing. And then I'll just kind of go in. I'm using the chisel because it's a bigger area. There we go. 
and I'll show you the other side of this. This is why you need to make sure your books are single-sided if you use alcohol markers, because this is what will happen. They will bleed through, and this is also why you need a page protector of some sort behind. Because if you don't, you were, you're getting, you're gonna have a, a mess, and you might be really upset. So <laughs> make sure that's back in focus. There we go. So yeah, so I'm just chilling on this Saturday. I don't think it. I think that it's supposed to be in the 50s today. Who knows anymore? I don't know. I just wait and see what happens. Because you might need the heater in the morning and the air conditioner by the afternoon. Who knows? <laughs> and I know you see me probably, I don't know, I'm like scribbling out the, the colors over here. And you're probably thinking, Jess, if you did a, if you just would do a color chart, you wouldn't have to do that. And I'm like, well, yeah, that's probably true, but you know what, I don't like to swatch. I don't like to swatch my colors and I hate it. I absolutely hate swatching. So I just find it easier to yank, yoink my color out and just go bloop, bloop, and then see if that's what I want. That's just what I do. Swatching bothers me, I hate it. So, yeah. It's going to be a lot of green on this page. Lots and lots of green. I can foresee it. On these little bits, I'm probably going to use the fine liners, maybe. Possibly. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. But they are really nice, like I was saying. They are nice fine liners. I like them. They're, they are water-based. They're not alcohol-based. They're water-based. All right, so I'm gonna flip this around. Use the chisel. Something satisfying about coloring with marker the sound it makes just I love it but I have been missing my pencils because I've been on a marker craze like I just want to color with marker I'm not gonna lie so I but I was missing my pencils so in Flora like I said I've been using my polychromos I haven't used them in a while, so I decided to pull them out and give them some love. See, I don't mind that some places are lighter and darker on this because a leaf would be, right? It'd be lighter and darker in different places. So it doesn't bother me if the leaves are a little bit streaky. They're not too bad. Now there's a fly on this. So I'm coloring very gently around said fly. I don't want to turn him green. It's a very realistic looking fly too. <laughs> Not even a cutesy one. And get real quiet just so I don't color him green. Okay, I think I colored around his little legs and everything. We're good. We are good. My dogs are being exceptionally good today. Like, I'm impressed. It's a good thing I gave them treats before I started because otherwise they'd probably be in here bothering me. <laughs> they, they love their mama, especially Mocha. Mocha is always in here or close by. Snookers is in here. She's in front of the heater and she likes to be warm so she finds the heater when it's on and that's where she stays. I don't know why I haven't been doing these stems. They're going to be the same color. Mason likes to take over the couch and the um, recliner so that's where he's probably in one of those two places. My hand is cramping. Hold on, if that bothers you, crack a knuckles 
turn away, but I have to. I have to do that. If I don't, my hands hurt so bad. I've got to crack my knuckles. Do you know it's a myth that they say you'll get arthritis if you crack your knuckles? That is a myth. I learned that in scrub tech school. Um, actually, they say it's actually pretty good for you because it gets rid of the air bubbles in between your joints. I know, huh? The things that we think are bad for us really isn't. And another drink. Cold feels so good to my throat right now. It's not like a hurt hurt, it's like a deep burn. Like a, an annoying burn. Like it doesn't hurt to swallow or anything, but it's just an annoying burn. And it's like I constantly need something to drink. I'm pretty sure it's just my sinuses draining. The past couple of days, um, I was so stuffy. I was going to do a video yesterday. And I just didn't want, I was just not in the mood. Well, I mean, I wanted to, but my throat was hurting. I kept sneezing and sniffling and sneezing. And my nose was running and it was clogged up. And my phone kept ringing and going off all day. So I was like, ah. And I couldn't decide what I wanted to color in uh, for a video. I was just all over the place. So I was like, forget it. I'll do it tomorrow. So, and then these came in yesterday afternoon. So I was like, okay, I want to color in one of these books. So, Animals was just like my favorite one. This one's my favorite out of all of them. Although they're all great. Um, I do want to do one with just pencil. A page with just pencil. To see how that turns out. Markers are quicker. And that's kind of one of the reasons I've started this page today. Is with markers. Just because it's faster. You can see some of it come together quicker. But I do like to color with my pencil still. Oh yeah. I like this dark green. What did I say it was? Petite's. Petit's Poes. I don't know how to say it, but that's how I'm going to say it. Let's see. I think this is a stem for one of these whatevers. I think that is too. If it's not, it is now because I'm coloring it that. So, it is now. If it wasn't, it is now. I'd like some ASMR. That, that irritates me. I don't like people whispering at me. <laughs> I've tried. I tried so hard, but when they whisper, it really bothers me. <laughs> like, no, don't do that. It just, I don't know. D do any of you like the ASMR? I can't, I can't deal, <laughs> personally. I just, I can't deal with it. Um, like, certain sound, like, just sounds is okay, but if they start whispering like this, I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> certain sounds is okay like I could listen to the sound of marker go down forever or like tapping on stuff with nails because I'm constantly tapping on things with my nails but if you start whispering at me I'm done I can't no 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 don't whisper at me So I just want to say hello to everybody that is new to my channel. Welcome in. Thank you for being here. I hope you enjoy. This is a variety channel. Um, first and foremost, it will be coloring and crafting and diamond painting. And then there's a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm going to try and mix in. Like 
vlogs, which I was doing in the past anyway. Um, little vlogs and unboxings and makeup stuff. Maybe try new foods out, you know, try new things on the, so whatever. Challenges, if you know of any good challenges that you'd like to see me do on the channel, let me know down in the comments because I like to do those. I thought I would do a video of like a what's in my bag video, um, like what I carry day to day with me when I'm out and about. I might do a what's in my makeup bag video too, show you what all makeups I have eyeshadow palettes and things like that um i because i want a diverse channel so i want to do different things and i've been saying that for a while so and i don't want to make separate channels for all of that i just want to do it all under one roof so here we are <laughs> so if you have any ideas that you or anything that you would like to see let me know down in the comments and i will definitely take them into consideration um yeah, because I just, I like, I like to, your, to have your guys' input. I like to know what you want to see. So let me know. If there's anything that you would like me to try, let me know. And you don't have to. Don't ever think you have to send me anything. But if you want to, my P.O. box is down there in the description. So, yeah, you don't ever have to send me anything. I don't expect you to give me a anything, absolutely anything. You don't have to give me nothing. Uh, just your friendship and your support. That's all I want. But some people want to send me things, and that's okay, too. So, my P.O. box is down there. Even if it's just a letter, um, a card, anything. Because I like to send cards. I, I've always liked to send cards. I like to send cards. I like to send just little little pick-me-ups every now and again. Unexpected things. I just, I like to send them. So, and I think other people are also like that as well. I think we just have one more leaf. I think it's just this big guy right here in the corner. Maybe. Maybe this little guy. I think there's one right there too. But yeah, so just letting you know that that's in, in the description. There's also a link to my coloring group on Facebook if you're not a part of that yet. Um, you are more than welcome to join. I'm going to revamp my uh, group on Facebook a little bit. Uh, it's called Jessica's Coloring Corner, which was the former name of this channel. But I really like Jessica Sparkles better for my YouTube. I'm going to keep my group on Facebook coloring and crafting related. I don't think I'm going to get into a bunch of other stuff on there. Um, I just kind of leave it as is for now. But uh, I'm going to change the rules and stuff because I realized I was kind of being stuffy with my rules once before. But really, I don't need that many rules for that. So I'm going to go through, change some stuff up, whatever, you know, what have you. I kind of like this color green. But anyway, yeah, so you can join, join us over there at Jessica's Coloring Corner and share your works with us. Uh, there's, like I said, check out the description. There's all kinds of things down there. There's my personal Facebook, my Facebook group, my Instagram, my Snapchat. What else do I have? Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. I think that's it for social media. I don't do Twitter. I'm not a Twitter person. Not my thing. I think oh, there's one right there. Dang it. I'm going to be forgetting a lot of this stuff because there's a lot of stuff on this page. Um... My email, my P.O. box, links to this book and these markers and those fine liners if you wish to purchase them. I am an Amazon affiliate. I am required to tell you so. So any of the links that are down there for Amazon, I get a small kickback if you purchase through my link. It's not much. It doesn't cost anything extra to you. 
and um, whenever I reach a certain amount, it, they send me a digital gift card and I buy things and put it back into the channel. So I do appreciate it if you use those links. I appreciate it very much. Now I gotta think what I wanna color next. How are we doing on time? We're almost at an hour already. Crazy town. I like it so far. What do you think? Do you like it? I hope you do. And I'm out. That sucks. So we're at 50 minutes. And you can see the amount that we've got colored. I like it so far. I do. I'm going to take... Where was that potato brown. There's yellow ochre at. Right there. Excuse my chair for making noises. <laughs> I'm going to color this cane with that uh, yellow ochre. I think I'm going to do those flowers purple. They just seem like they need to be purple. A wood knotty cane. So these colors are very earthy that I'm putting down so far. So we're going to do some bright contrasting colors. Okay. What is this? Deep violet. Names can be deceiving. Yeah, that's a little too deep. A little too deep. Love this one. Aster tar tat tat. Okay. This color, <laughs> um, R826. Mm. Um, eh. Maybe pastel violet. Wheel, 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 wheel. Okay, pastel violet it is because I can go in and fix it later. So let's color some of these flowers and see that's almost too light for what I was wanting, but that's okay. That's okay. Or do I want that? Hmm. Hmm. I'm thinking guys. That's hydrangea. Well, we'll keep with this and we'll see what happens. We'll keep with this purple for now. I wanted it to be a little bit brighter, but that's okay. looking to see where more of these are. If there's anything that you guys would like to see specifically, like I've said before, just put it down in the comments or you can email me or whatever you would like. Um, I do like suggestions if you would like to see a specific book colored in or just a specific video in general. It doesn't have to be coloring. This channel, like I said, is for everything. So if there's anything specifically that you would like to see, please let me know. You have to let me know because I'm not a mind reader. So unless if you don't tell me, I don't know. So <laughs> I have not forgot about some of the video requests for certain books. I have that um, wrote down and I will get to it. Just remember that not everything will be got to right this second, but I will get to it when I can. I need a snooker. Uh, here's one down here. I think this is one here too. 
Ja. There's a little hingy dingy one. Okay, so I think I'm gonna call it good for today. Um, let me set this over here. Um, 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 I can show you real quick wherever my prismies, prismies are. I'm gonna grab my Prismacolors. They're in this case. And I'm gonna shade a little bit on our little frog here. So I'm going to take a darker green. I think I'm going to take grass green in the Prismas and we will do a little bit of shading. I'm going to sharpen my pencil as soon as I, okay, with my Tegal sharpener. So I like the Tegals. They sharpen nicely. See? Alrighty. So um, I just do a shade slightly darker than what I'm working on. And because there's little spots in here of him already shaded, I am, let me see if I can zoom in a little bit where we're working right here on his arm. So I'm just taking this and just kind of putting it in where it's already dark like this. And you can put it in other spots too as you see fit, but I just mostly put it in where they've got the darkness of the lines there already. And I'm not too careful, I just kind of scribble it in. Can you see that? Can you see how that looks? Let me see if I can do it a little bit more. See right there how that is? And I'll just take some like this. already where the lines are at and just kind of follow it. Can you see how that changes it? So that's what I'll do, end up doing on the whole page actually with um, the pencils. And it just gives him that little bit extra. So we'll do his eye right here. So just kind of there, we'll do these little bumpies. And then this back part of his eye here. And that's all there really is to it. And then you can kind of lighten it in just very lightly so it kind of blends in if you need to. But uh, yeah, so that's really all there is to using your pencil over the top of marker. You can use it over the top of watercolor. Um, let me think. Uh, I use it over the top of marker mostly. You can do it over the ink tints. I, the way that I color with ink tints, I don't need to go in with the pencil, but you can. Um, mostly if I go in with pencil, it's usually over marker. And I'm just doing some of his little mouth here. And you can just put it in where you want. You don't have to stick to just those spots there. You can kind of go in and just put the dark where you want it to be. You can do it as heavy or as light, like I'm doing it light in some areas and darker in the others. So yeah, you can kind of just decide where you want to place your color at. Like I said, this is, this is just an extra step. It's just something that I like to do sometimes. I don't do this all the time. I just do this sometimes. So it's definitely not something that you have to do if you don't want to. 
you just want to color it straight color and be done that is good too girl or guy do what you want and color how you want you don't have to color like I do color how you want you don't have to copy the same colors as me make your picture unique just go for it and do a little bit more And you can see how he's already starting to come alive a little bit. So, so yeah. So, uh, there he is. There's our Mr. Frog. Senor Frog. Ooh, what did I drop? Okay. So, there is what we have so far. And you can see that's how I just use the colored pencil to go in and just kind of give him a little bit more depth and dimension. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and this is your very first video, welcome. I hope you consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, please hit that bell next to the subscribe button. That will let you know when I upload new videos or when I go live. It should anyway. Sometimes it don't work. Um, I'm not getting notifications for some people and it irritates me <laughs> even though I've got it checked but anyway um, thank you guys for being here with me today for watching me color out of whoops as I flip you sideways for watching me color out of a mythographic animals by Joseph Cat and Bang remember to check that description for a link to this and these, even though you didn't see me use them yet, uh, I can show you. Oh, my keyboard don't fall out like it does. I did test all of the colors yesterday. I wrote my name a hundred times. <laughs> and though some of the colors look similar, they are ever so slightly different. So, but there are all of those beautiful colors in that a set of fine liners they are awesome I will link those in the description as well because they are very budget friendly they were $19.99 for a hundred beautiful colors and they write really well let me pop one out and I'll show you so you can see the tip is nice and fine the barrel is black the cap fits on the end it's got a little lip right here so if you set it down it's not gonna roll around on you so that is great and yeah, I um, I like these. There's there's no, uh, like I said, there's not a brand or anything on them. It's just this fine liner color pen, 0 0.4 millimeter. So, but I recommend those. They were really great, really budget friendly. I liked them from what I just played with them. And I think they're going to work well in our color books. So, anyway, yes. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And remember... Don't ever let anybody dull your sparkle. Goodbye.